Happy holidays, everybody, and Tony here with a tribute to a Christmas special from a cartoon I've been loving ever since I was a little boy of six years old when I caught this on Cartoon Network. I'm talking about Season's Greetings from Popeye the Sailor, which were from the series of shorts produced by Paramount Pictures for King Features Entertainment, which was released on December 17, 1933. This was directed by Dave Fleischer, it was produced by Max Fleischer, and the animators in charge were were Seymour Knidel and Roland Crandall. I caught this particular Christmas special ever since I was a very young boy of six years old, which in turn was the very first time I got myself tuning into Cartoon Network on a nearly regular basis. And ever since then, this was the holiday short that managed to stick with me for many, many years. I remembered it not being like the typical Christmas special, what with the lack of Santa Claus and even the lack of the birth of Christ being mentioned, but there were some ironic jabs such as Bluto greeting Popeye Merry Christmas by punching him and Popeye retaliating that the holidays are a season of peace and love and punches Bluto back by saying Happy New Year. And it doesn't get so Christmassy until the very end of this particular short. Nevertheless, I found a lot of laughs. I found a fair amount of good old cartoon violence. And it just made me smile all the way through in terms of how much it kept me entertained and it never left me bored as it managed to have a lot of build-up, excitement, and really great fun in terms of Popeye using his can of spinach to beat up Bluto and rescue his beloved olive oil. Now, since this is not like any typical Christmas special in which Santa would be involved, or even the whole message of hope and faith being hammered into everybody's heads, let alone the birth of Christ being hammered in as well. It's basically a Popeye short, but with a holiday element. We see Popeye skating to Olive's place, and he gives her a couple of ice skates as a Christmas present, thus teaching her how to skate. And then we also see Bluto with his little dog, trying to treat it like his sleigh dog, but that poor little thing just looks rather tired. And you can definitely tell that Bluto is his typical bullying self. And of course, I can never forget my favorite moment between Popeye and Bluto, even after Bluto tries to make the moves on Olive Oil as she was trying to escape by herself, where Bluto ends up giving Popeye a good old punch saying Merry Christmas and Popeye retaliates that this is the day of peace and love and Popeye punches Bluto back by telling him Happy New Year as Popeye continues to give Olive Oil her skating lessons. But that doesn't stop Popeye from being kind of a jerk to Olive, especially when she falls on thin ice and freezes her bum that Popeye ends up laughing at her. Poor Olive ends up skating alone and enjoys the fact that even though she has an ice girdle bum, she could kind of use it as a sled until she stopped. And she sees Bluto showing off trying to do all these nifty tricks but she is not impressed thus causing Bluto to saw the ice and Olive is screaming for Popeye's help as he is skating on the ice a heart as his olive branch to her in good old Popeye fashion he saves olive oil she even extends her long lanky legs to reach land thus causing her to faint but that doesn't stop Bluto from wanting to destroy both Popeye and Olive by smashing them with a huge snowball and even rolling down with it, thus making Popeye take out his signature can of spinach. And once Bluto ends up being formed into a snowman, he punches Bluto, stars fall out of his head, and they even adorn a nearby Christmas tree as Popeye sings to us, the audience, season's greetings to you all, as the episode ends in a nice festive spirit. So this was definitely 
not like a lot of the holiday specials I've been catching ever since I was a little boy. It doesn't make it a bad thing that there was no mention of Santa Claus or Birth of Jesus, let alone all of these messages that we've been hearing about hope and faith and love. But this is definitely a good old fashioned Popeye short with Popeye saving the day, using his can of spinach to beat up Bluto, and of course, Bluto being the usual jerk with olive oil acting as the damsel in distress. So this was definitely a lot of fun that I had and it still holds up to this very day as one of the most fun classic Christmas specials I had the pleasure of tuning into ever since I was a little boy. And I certainly had to give it to Billy Costello's wonderful portrayal as Popeye, Bonnie Poe's fun portrayal of Olive Well, and William Pennell's rough and tough basso voice being put to fantastic use to embody Bluto's cruelty and overall nastiness as well as his bullying nature. So these three vocal thespians managed to make the experience all the more worthwhile and Season's Greetings definitely gets an A plus for making me feel entertained all the way through, for maintaining that good old Popeye spirit, and for being such a joy to watch from beginning to end. I enjoyed it back then when I was a little kid, and I still enjoy it to this day as a full-grown adult. And for those of you who caught Season's Greetings from Popeye the Sailor, what'd you think of it? Did you really enjoy seeing Bluto getting the crap beaten out of him by Popeye? Did you also enjoy Popeye rescuing Olive Oil from certain doom? And did you also enjoy that really festive ending? Or was there something that you didn't particularly enjoy? Comment below and let me know. Well... That's all for this tribute to Season's Greetings from Popeye the Sailor. Tune in much later for my tribute to yet another Popeye short, which is also Christmas related. And I'll be taking a look at Mistletoe Mister. So until then, happy holidays, everybody!